Let's simplify some more um, expressions. We have negative five x to the zero. Well, anything raised to the zero turns into a one. So here I have negative five um, multiplied by one, which is just gonna be negative five, all right? So here we have nine, and then y, we've got negative three that must subtract five from it since it's a quotient part there. So I have nine and negative three minus five is negative eight, but we're not allowed to have a negative exponent. So my nine will stay in the numerator. My y will go to the denominator so that the eight can become positive. So I have nine over y to the eighth power. And on this one, I've got n, the same basis, so 4 uh, plus negative 7, or 4 minus 7 over 6, will become n to the negative 3 over 6. But we're not allowed to have that n with a negative 3, so I'll have to put a 1 in the numerator's place and then bring that n down to the denominator's place and um, change it to a positive 3. All right, and then here, the eight will stay in the numerator's place, but the x will go to the denominator's place so that it can become a positive two. And then let's see here, the b to the zero becomes a one. So I'm left with b to the negative 10. I need that negative 10 to become a positive 10, so I put a one over b, and then the 10 becomes positive.